Darren, now's the chance to follow a, a win in the FA Cup with an away win in the league. Yeah, I think that's what we aim for. We just the back to back results would be great for us. I know we won previously in the cup, but back, any back to back results would be would be good for confidence. And I think we've got an opportunity Saturday to do that. Yeah, last Saturday's performance at Trafford it wasn't quite perfect, but it was something that you and Alan were looking for. No, it it was a win, and that was a major mm-hmm. thing. We wanted to be in the hat for the next round. There was lots of positive, but there was also lots of stuff that we we need to work on. Um, we've both got standards and we're trying to get them across to the players that we want them to reach them standards they're all capable of doing that we know we've got a decent decent set of lads in, in the group that we've got um, and we just want to make sure that we can transpire to get another win on the road on Saturday and the good thing was that three different players got on the score sheet and generally everybody got a, a big boost of the confidence yeah I think that's the main thing we, we talk about confidence winning games breeds confidence and then once you have that confidence then you, you're more likely to play your natural game we see a lot of the lads still not right at the natural game yet, um, and I think that falls down to the confidence side of things. Things are being helped, though, by the injuries, are they? I know it's a recurring theme, but there's at least three lads who are long-term injured at the moment, so you and Alan have to shuffle things around a little bit, and it's the old cliche square pegs round all the time. It is, it is, but as a player, sometimes you get a chance from from lads getting injured, so it gives an opportunity for for lads that step in to to cement the place in the group. But it's it's been a right kick in the teeth with the lads that we've that we've had missing long term, especially because um, I think them lads are going to many of the teams in this league and, and make a difference. And with them missing, they obviously have an impact on us. Um, but like I said, it gives other lads a chance to step into their place and try and cement a place. One of the lads who's coming is Alex Story, who will be in the squad on Saturday. And- that, that's a prime example, isn't it? He's got his opportunity. Yeah, Alex Trim was on Tuesday. He's someone that, um, funnily enough, me and me and Alan had an opportunity to, to take on Blythe, um, on loan at Blythe at the time. Um, but we thought he was a bit too young and we went for a bit more experience with, with a lad called Sam Brotherton. But to be honest, Alex has got an opportunity now to come in. Um, Jordan's obviously suspended. So Alex will get his opportunity. Hopefully, um, he'll have a good training session tonight, and he'll look to put in a good performance Saturday. And hopefully, as well, Darlow pick up three points at Alfreton and kickstart the season. Yeah, that's the main thing. It's been it's been very much topsy turvy, and and we've we've not right hit the hit the heights that we wanted to. But obviously, with the injuries, we knew it would be a bit inconsistent because we've shuffled around the pack a lot. There's not been lots of rhythm. Players can't form partnerships and relationships. So we, we take that with a pinch of salt and we acknowledge that, but hopefully we can put that to bed and, and get another result on Saturday.